Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, in the last mini series, that uh, it wasn't a mini series; it was just one video. Uh, in the last video, we um, upgraded this Ford. I don't know what the name of it is. F three fifty Super Duty. Uh, we probably had a couple of parts that we could have replaced. But we didn't, we just wanted to upgrade this and we managed to squeeze it from 380 horsepower to 606. So we got a lot of power out of this car and we're going to squeeze even more power out of a V8 engine today. So we're going to be turning this perfectly 100% car and we're going to, hang on, what is that supercharge that you can swap it to? That sounds good. So we're going to swap this engine out, put in a more powerful engine alongside with better clutch. And then what we're also going to do is swap out the exhaust system. And hopefully we can get some better performance out of it. So let's move this to the lifter. Uh, here it is is the engine crane I'm gonna move this to the um, as well this car we're going to be un taking the engine apart rather than building a completely new one the last one we just built a completely new engine this one we're gonna take the old one apart right, so first of all we got to remove the drive shaft I thought the Ford Mustang, the new ones, were actually four-wheel drive, but apparently they're not according to this game. I swear they were four-wheel drive. Let me know in the comments if I'm just mistaken. But I swear they had a four-wheel drive Mustang. Can I be cheeky and do that now? No. I have to lower the car. <coughs> uh, pull out the engine. Oh, i got to drain the oil because it's a brand new car, isn't it? There we go. Move that back, and we can lift the engine out again. Right, here we go. So we have the Ford Mustang engine inside here. Um, so this is all V8J by the looks of it. Uh, so we got DI fuel rails. Uh, we got throttle B. Uh, we have normal alternator, V8 pumps. And I think that's a V8 water pump behind there as well. Um, okay, let's have a look at the... We don't have to look at the normal shot. We can look at the performance one though. So if we go under engine... And search up V8. Okay, so we got V8J here. We got V8J exhaust manifolds. Uh, do we have V8J intake manifolds? Yes, we do. V8J. Uh, we'll have to look underneath the timing cover to see what camshaft we got. 
Uh, okay, we got normal ignition coils. That's good. Okay, so we've got VHJ camshaft, which, if I take a look, we don't have, no. Here we go. Ah, oh, these camshaft caps are going to be a nightmare to take out. Ah, we got to take uh, coil covers off. There we go. Right, timing cover can come off. Actually, hang on. Let me try something out. If I do this and I take the oil pan off, I have to take the entire thing off first. Ah, uh, gutted. All right. Ah, that should be fine. <clears throat> Throttle. Oh, we got to take this side off first. Honestly, taking one of these engines apart and then putting it together again is a nightmare. There we go, that's that side out. Now we need to move on to the other side and <laughs> take all that out again.
There we go. And there we go. Right. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to rotate the engine around. Take a look into the underside. There we go. Nice. Hang on, let me put these camshaft parts back on first. And I also want to see if I can fit wider tyres, if that's possible. No, I didn't want that. Have I bought the pistons already? No, I haven't. Right. No free space in inventory. Uh, we don't need the GC40 rims. Uh, let's get rid of a load of these rubber bushings. There we go. Right, now we should be able to buy them. Uh, I need to make sure that I sell everything after this car.
And there we go. Right, the bottom section of the engine is now complete. Oh, that red looks really nice. There we go, that's that side completed. We've now got the engine heads to go in. <coughs> uh, camshafts. Um, also, by the time we start the Pagani DLC, which will be in the next video, I should have a brand new mic, which is absolutely amazing. So stay tuned for that. I think there probably is already a video up where I have my new mic. So Uh, oh yeah, and this bit. That looks so cool. No, we can get a... Uh better fuel rails, can't we? Engine head cover, the other one. There we go. Nice new exhaust manifold. Shiny. Oh, and there's a the Ghost Recon Breakpoint Beta. So I'm actually doing this before um, recording the beta video, which has probably been out for like a week by now. But you know how it is on the Mechanic CG channel? We mass record absolutely everything. Belt tensioner goes on next. Then the idler roller. Right, I think the only thing that needs to go back on is we need to buy the fuel rail.
Um, ignition coils. And spark plugs. Uh, the sad thing is, you won't actually get to see these, because they got coil covers. Oh shit, what the hell was that? Coils cover goes back on again. Um, right, so what I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to go buy a new clutch, flywheel and all that, and I'm going to change that inside the car this time. Uh, so, oh. There we go. Install engine. Oh, that does look good. That is looking amazing. Is that it done? Uh, fuel pump. There we go. Um, I think that is everything. Ah, exhaust. What do we have here? So we have catalytic, middle muffler, rear muffler, Mustang. Rear muffler, Mustang. Nice. Oh, that's going to bug me. Oh, nice shiny exhausts. Um... Now the next thing I want to know, I'm going to do a little test, 
Because I want to put really fat rims on this. So, what size are the tyres? 275, 40, 19. What does the numbers actually mean? Oh, hang on. Okay. I'm going to see if these fit on, because if they do... I am going to be... Um, putting those on. 315s. Oh my god, I can put 315s on. Okay, they interlap with the exhaust a bit. Nobody has to know. So we got three one five forty nineteen. Actually, I should probably buy thinner tyres for the front. I'm going to try thinner tyres at the front, see if that... And I'm also going to buy two Mustang rims, I can't be bothered to remove them. Rim Mustang size nineteen. Yo, those ties are skinny. There we go, balance that. This is just me messing around with tires now. So we had two five fives on before. Um, take it 
Take a look at how much skinnier those are, though. That looks amazing. Right, let's move this to the paint shop. Because we need to give it a cool design. Right, what liveries do we have? White lines, black lines. Okay, I have a perfect idea. There we go. Red with black lines. Um, what we need to do now... Fill it up with oil. Because we took all the oil out to actually sort out the engine. Uh, this video's gone on for ages. But this has been like perfect customization. The best of the best. Right, let's move this to the dyno. Ouch. Right, so I am predicting... Initial was 437. I'm predicting around about 650. Seven two seven. Uh, that's a lot more than I was expecting. Um. Okay, that's kind of impressive, actually. Uh, let's go back to the entrance. So that is the Ford Mustang. What we're going to do now, we built this to go on in a straight line. Definitely built it for straight line. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that Mustang and we're going to see how fast we can get it to go in a straight line. Now I'm hoping, because I've put wider tyres on the back, we should get a little more grip off the line. And they normally say skinnier tyres up front means that you get less grip turning which means it's easier to go in a straight line i'm pretty sure i'm probably mistaken and i've probably fucked up big time but i don't care because oh because that's what this game's all about yo Come on, get us to 180, 180, 180. 180 miles an hour. Nice. Okay, that car is amazing. And we had instant acceleration because of the um, slick tyres that we had on it. So we were able to go bang on in a straight line. That is good. I will take that as a win in my book. Car Mechanic Simulator. Come on. There we go. So... Unfortunately, guys, that is it for the Ford DLC. Um, to be honest, the Ford DLC is amazing. There's so many good cars in there that you can fix. I would highly recommend it. These tires stick out a little bit. Um, so if you want a good DLC, this one's good. Uh, the next video should be the Pagani DLCs. So we should get Pagani next. And at the moment there is a poll going for... 
uh, what DLC you want to see after them. So that's probably finished now, but you should definitely subscribe if you want to check out and see what DLCs come out next. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for the Pagani DLC, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.